Okay, and before we hop in there, you gotta see the animation this shield makes when it actually blocks. <laughs> hey guys, Seiji here. In today's episode, we unlock a secret transmog. And yes, I show you how to do it. We also go on an epic quest to get our items back from the spirit extractor. Spoiler, it didn't go too well. We also start trying to get all the knowledge that we need to unlock the power mod. We're also super close to the 1500 subscriber goal that I want to be at. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not. It's free and you can always unsubscribe whenever you like. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this episode. Hey guys, how's it going? Why am I Steve? Let me relog real quick. I never noticed Steve had such a fresh haircut. Okay, I just relaunched the world. Let's see if this works. It did not work. Well, we're gonna be steving this for a little bit. So one of us is an imposter and I genuinely don't know if it's me or not. So I was getting to run another vault and I just so happened to check the bounty table. Submit 93 diamonds and I get four gold. That's gonna give us a huge head start to getting our items back. This, this, honestly, this does not feel as good as it does when I have my skin on. So maybe no zoom ins this episode. So let's come grab some diamonds and I'm almost positive we got like a double compressed block from that trash room that we ran. So I'm pretty set as far as being able to complete this bounty. Oh, but first I gotta abandon this bounty. That one's out the way, let's activate this one. Then we just gotta right click these diamonds and that should be pretty much everything we gotta do let's open this bad boy up get that gold convert it over to silver and yeah that's a huge head start oh my gosh so i'm on the new update and this costs gold now um i guess we gotta run a volt so how close are we to actually completing this we have 10 out of 45 so for now let's just set these bad boys right there recipe melons this should be doable i'm hoping we actually have enough melons yeah we have an excess of melons none of my machines are running that's a problem for another day because we need some gold this was a very hungry boy Let's go ahead and activate this bounty just in case we do find that Volt Essence though. Not counting on it because I'm really only going to go for coin piles. Oh, this is one of my favorite themes. Oh, check out the first room. I don't have any water, so we're going to probably come back to this. Yeah, let's not forget to mark this time. You know what? Let's use honey for this actually. Should work about the same, just flow just a bit slower. Build around us and it's trapped you know what i'm already getting distracted we're only going for coin piles oh this is such a bummer we're getting all the good rooms but no coin piles oh come on we don't have the infinite water bucket with this new update spawners break so slow without a volt pickaxe I was going to break it and then i got hit with like the last second of it before it broke so let's just yellow this boss they got the crossbow first and then these guys aren't too much of a challenge as long as you can get them in some water or honey they just broke my shield okay i'm about to die again there's there's literally no turning back i'm about to die again okay we got that guy out the way but i'm on a heart and a half it's gonna be another one of those episodes isn't it nope 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 okay we found some coin piles but they break super slow can you water bucket clutch with honey oh you can nice okay we got a few more coin piles i'm not gonna bore you guys with the same old stuff from last episode i'll be back if we find another obelisk or if we complete the vault editing cg here my mic was muted once again but here you see i click the obelisk and i'm dead you know what i'm done we had 64 coin piles it's just ridiculous that we need 45 gold for this here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run some volts off camera i'll come back if i escape them or if i die again and i'll show you all the stats on what we got but first we're gonna make a tool station this is the new block that you use to make the new pickaxes oh what do you know it costs volt gold we're gonna need two wootadotic mass and here's how my day is going we need nine i have eight okay we're hopping into the vault it is a scavenger vault so we may complete it but i'm not going to counter it i'm only going for coin piles i'll meet you guys back when i'm about to exit okay so this is a new poi that i have never seen before and thankfully it's a coin pile one and i have been looting a couple living and gilded chests if i find them and check it out guys we've actually gotten a couple new items we got a gemstone a chip jewel and also a bounty pearl no clue what those things do but we'll find that out once we get back to the base okay and it actually looks like we found a dungeon with coin piles so that's going to come in huge if we don't die yeah time's getting pretty low so we're gonna start heading our way back to the portal i've got a ton of new goodies that i want to show you guys that i don't even know what they do but we'll learn together i could have probably greeted and almost completed this bounty because i did have three drown hide but i didn't want to risk it for the biscuit it's so weird seeing this steve skin but let's head back to the base and see what kind of loot we got so we mined up 171 coin piles which is huge we opened up a good bit of chest mainly wooden and a couple of living but let's claim this up and let me organize my inventory and i'll be back so first off we got this bounty pearl this is what you're going to be using now to reroll what you get from these vaults objectives so for instance we can reroll this right now it costed no bronze and now we have a new objective in total we got over a stack of silver which is absolutely huge that converts over to eight gold we are still a good ways away from actually getting our spirit back we also got a few little items that we can roll up real quick and what are we gonna get everything was pretty meh these boots were pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and wear those and we do need a new chest plate we may as well put the helmet on as well because this one's just about broken and here's a couple of those jewels that we got we got this one that gives us item rarity mining speed which is absolutely huge then we got shovel and also corn affinity oh can't forget copiously then we also got a gemstone i have no clue what these things do but i'm sure there's a use for them also three mystery boxes emeralds but i think now 
we can actually craft up this chromatic steel pickaxe, which all we got to do is put this stuff in there and we should be able to craft it up just like that. And to add these jewels, all you got to do is come to an anvil and I believe, okay. Well, you can see this has a capacity of 114. If I were to add this one, it takes 17% off of that. That being said, let me craft up a new anvil and I'll show you what I mean. Oh wait, we don't need to craft an anvil. We have plenty. So each jewel has a random size that it takes off. This one just so to be a pretty low roll of 17. I can add that and we go from 114 all the way down to 97. So now I guess it's possible to have a whole bunch of prefixes on one pickaxe. Well, I got another crystal crafted. I'm going to run another vault and hopefully get a bit more gold. Yeah, we probably won't be completing this vault. I do want to try out this new pickaxe on these coin follows. Oh my gosh, it's instant. This is insane. Chromatic steel pickaxe go brr. Yeah, that's going to make looting coin piles a heck of a lot faster. Well, I'll be back if I find anything interesting. Oh, I cannot forget creeper spawn in this vault. Gonna have to be extra careful, because one actually did blow up there. Ooh, here's a new POI. There was only two gilded chests here. I'm gonna regret this. Yep, I'm already regretting it. Thankfully, they're not as fast as they were the last time. Okay, we got most of them down. I think we just have one left. Yeah, here he is. We should be able to take him on. Okay, nice. May not go for the other two obelisks if we find them. Oh my gosh, guys. We found the dragons in their room. This is exactly what we need. So apparently there's a way to cheese this if I dig a little pit down and get a whole bunch of mobs trapped in there. Because there's like a mob cap or something like that. So I'm going to have to slowly make my way down here and hopefully build a little pit for them all to fall into. Okay, so the pit's dug and mobs are falling into it. It was pretty hard to dig this pit actually with these spiders attacking us. I ended up making like a little layer of this unobtainium block over the top of it, digging off to the side right here, digging all the stuff below it, and then removing the top unobtainium layer. So hopefully this works and that comment wasn't a troll. If this works, we should get all the gold we need to get our spirit back. It seems pretty safe so far. So I'm going to go around collecting the coin piles that I can reach, and if any mobs start spawning on us, I'll be back. Oh, kind of like this. So it seems like mobs are still spawning, but not as many as they used to. So I think it's safe to say this actually works. I'm going to lead these guys over to this pit and then hopefully get them trapped. Okay, so far so good. Okay, we got all those guys trapped, and I think we just made a peaceful vault so i'm gonna go around collect all these coins that i can and hopefully clear up this entire pit Ooh, that one dropped a gold that's huge we only need about 90 more of those really wishing i had a magnet right now this is about to be super satisfying oh yeah a little fast but you get the gist so note to self anytime you find a dragon room make sure that you make a little pit for everybody to fall into if you had a pickering it'd probably be a lot easier and you wouldn't have to do the little cheesy method i did of basically going down like this making a layer of this unobtainium or any other block pretty much and digging out that little portion oh this just turned my entire day around i'm so happy we found this and i'm so happy that worked I'm about 99% sure that we got everything. So instead of going back this way, I'm gonna, oh, we did miss one. This is gonna be a little loud, guys, so I do apologize. We may as well go back up our staircase. Oh, wait a minute, which one of these ways did I come from? I wanna say I came from north. Okay, maybe not, I think I might be lost. Maybe I came from the east way? I'm not seeing any marker blocks. Yeah, I'm officially lost. Well, it wouldn't be a sagey vault if I didn't get lost. Have I mentioned I wanna spec into the vault compass mod? Okay, I remember this place. We did come from the north way. Thankfully, I tracked back just one more time. But instead of being greedy and trying to go for the ball, kills that we're gonna probably kill us anyways we're gonna start trying to find our way back to the portal i bet you this still isn't enough gold oh no get rid of this guy before he gets rid of us okay there it is so let's head back to the base and see what kind of loot we got okay we got 5,000 xp and the real kicker how many coin piles 502 coin piles that is insane oh and we got a level up and if you're wondering how common these things are they're pretty common you can see both of these are the exact same jewels but this one requires 89 versus the 44 so be careful before you just go ahead and slap one on there okay here's all the coins we got i doubt it's gonna be enough but we can be hopeful 26 gold out of that one bolt and a mystery box so that brings our total up to 42 wait why does this only require eight now oh this is our other spirit this is the one that we want and it still requires 45 so we're three gold short so i'm gonna run more vault for the night i want to take this episode out by wednesday but i don't think that's gonna happen currently tuesday and it's about 10 p.m and i gotta get up at four in the morning for work this crystal wants our beloved kelp thankfully we have a backlog it really hurts me to have to get rid of this though but it must be done and it also means it must be the best vault that we're about to run I don't think it could top that one though. We did find a mystery egg in one of those vaults. So let's go ahead and roll this up. And what did we get? Skeleton. We went ahead and rerolled that one along with the creeper to roll this one more time. And we got husk. Pretty sure that's even worse. But we got another crystal, so you know what that means. As soon as we get enough gold, we're dipping. Because I really want my original items back. Oh, guys, check it out. We found a dungeon, and there's a few coin files, along with a couple of Benny boys. It was really bad not being able to fortune that up, though. Okay, so not exactly a coin file, but we did get a monolith. When there's some more Nate boys. I keep getting distracted, and that's not good. Oh, we got a helmet. Nice. There's a couple coin files over there, but that's a little bit too dangerous for my liking. Oh, my gosh, I'm about to die. Yeah, I'm bailing. Not the vault, just this room. Oh, come on. Yeah, now we gotta complete this vault. There's only one more monolith to get. Yeah, let's snag these guys up real quick before this guy attacks us. There's a creeper. Okay, now that we're a little safe, I actually want to see if we have enough to craft 
wrapped up all that gold that we need. It looks like we do. So I'm just going to find that last monolith and then we're going to get out of here. This is a new one. 20% item rarity for one minute. Thank you. Well, since we have that item rarity, let's go ahead and open up these gilded chests. Is it a huge increase in actual items though? Doesn't look like it. Oh my gosh. We found the last monolith. Now let's get out of here. Yeah, because I'm getting pretty sleepy. Killed this guy, but he's still running towards me. He's possessed. Okay, let's head back to the base and see what kind of loot we got. 3,600 XP. We got a bounty crate. And we got all the gold that we need to get our items back. Wait, why does it only cost 43 now? Did I not even have to run that vault? I could have sworn it said 45. Well, here's all the loot we got. We got a helmet, a dreamstone, a couple of other goodies. Oh, we had a tomato there. I didn't even know we could get those yet. And for a helmet, we got... Oh, pretty good, actually. Now let's open up this crate and see what we get. Oh, a chest plate. Okay, we got a common chest plate and a uncommon axe. That is a really good chest plate. All right, well, I'm going to head off for the night. Well, you know what time it is. It's time to get our items back. For you, it's going to be instant. But for me, it's going to be the next day. Because currently, I got to go. Hey guys, how's it going? It's currently the next day. We got our skin back. We can grab this gold and get our items back from this spirit extractor. We're going to have three gold left over, which is absolutely huge. It should start spitting them out. Oh yeah. This feels so good to finally get our items back. And what is that? Wait a minute. What? Oh, that's right. If you had magnets before the update, they went ahead and turned into these unidentified magnets. And I don't think there's anything I can do with them. Yeah, I'm right clicking them and nothing's happening. So that's kind of a bummer because we did have that horde magnet, but what can you do about it? I guess since we have this new pickaxe, we really don't need these two because I do have that other affinity. Yeah, the wooden chest affinity. We're going to go to put that on here as well. So now I should pretty much be able to do the exact same thing I was doing with that other pickaxe. Besides instant mine gilded chest. Oh, check it out. I forgot that we actually got a little bit of loot before we died. Oh, look at all that chromatic iron. Oh, and a bit of bronze and silver. Mystery box. Now our shield is broken, so I want to go ahead and craft up another one and hope we get pretty lucky with the roll. What are we going to get? It's a common with 5% block chance. I'm pretty positive this is why I never have any gold. Let's get a bit luckier with the block chance. 6%. Okay, third time's a charm. All I care about is the block chance. Give me at least something higher than 8%. Oh, 13. That's a that's huge and i actually want to show you guys a little easter egg that has something to do with the shields i have six chromatic iron nuggets if you craft them like this you're gonna get something called a hairy special and now what is this we unlocked a new transmog the janitor's broomstick and also the absolute binner so that being said we can now put our shield inside of here and check out this transmog it's literally a trash can oh but first i'm gonna need some bronze yeah so we'll make this shield into the transmog right there and i think the other one goes with the sword i could be wrong okay it seems like it goes with the axe so i'm gonna roll one up real quick that we're gonna anything good yeah we didn't but i do want to show you guys this new transmog so this is from the 1.16 version it's actual it's actually dowski's broomstick and it's super hilarious i'm ready to go pick up some trash and this shield also has an amazing animation once it actually does go in block it's basically iskow sticking his head out so my buddy actually modeled this shield for the volt hunter development team it's going to be the storm rider i'm going to link him down below he's an amazing artist and he actually has some pretty good content but i'm feeling super hyped right now and i really want to run another volt but didn't we just run like 30 of those that was yesterday so it doesn't count plus we got our new gear back so this has got to go good and i want to check out how this wooden affinity works recipe that's doable and before we hop into this vault there's a mod that i want to unlock so let's craft up one of these turn that into this we can now eat this bad boy up and i guess it's pretty obvious but we're gonna go with the volt compass because i'm sick of losing my items and the recipe really isn't all that bad just two four volt diamonds four netherite and then a normal compass so I don't know if you have to right click it once you get in there, but it should point straight to your vault portal. I hope so anyway. So let's hop into this vault. Oh, we got a trapped modifier. That's a bummer. And by the looks of it, it does actually point to the vault portal without you having to do anything. I keep forgetting to refill my ender pearls. Okay, so here's some wooden chests. Let's actually test out this wooden affinity. Okay, it's basically the exact same as it was last time. Oh, that's right. I don't have a magnet. That's a bummer. Let's make sure we actually mine these coin piles up. Okay, we completed this. Let's see what we get. Looks like it's just a blessing. With this being a trap fold, I'm only going to go for like the gilded chest like this and then also the monoliths. Oh, wow. You can't even break the gilded chest anymore. Oh, speaking of monoliths, there's actually one right off the bat. Oh, I should have put the water down. Okay, we just had one more and that's one obelisk down. Seeing as there's six total, I doubt we're actually going to complete this. Oh, we'll obviously go for the coin piles as well. If the mobs don't get in my way and actually let me break the spawner. Uh oh. All right, mobs down. Coin piles are mine. Bruh. Let's put the water down first just to be safe. And we have four this time so that shouldn't be too bad the main ones are these crossbow guys you like gotta get rid of these guys because these ones are a bit easier to take out because they really can't hit you as long as you're far enough away oh wait plus three regeneration for 15 seconds we're gonna save this just in case i get in a bind 23 years old and still get voice cracks oh it's like there's a living dungeon by the looks of it yeah that's actually huge because we need to actually start getting all the knowledge that we can for when we unlock the power mod i'm also debating on unlocking waystones in case i want to move my base eventually oh guys check it out this is actually in that room with that regen so let's try to lead them down here and we can actually click that up if we get in a bind all right one more hit and then we're gonna actually go ahead and click on that regen just to start getting some of our health back oh that is insanely quick look at that 
that. I'm finding them under the water. Or the honey, actually. Okay, the very next room. That's not too bad of a find. Well, you know the drill. Let's spam some water. All right, and one more guy. That's it. So let's hope we get that lucky every single time and are able to find all the obelisks. We need all of these. All right, we got another chance. Let's hope that they aren't too big of a problem. Remember, the crossbow guys always take out first. Because these ones really aren't that big of a challenge. Especially when they get stuck in a little block like this. Okay, cool. So we actually only need one more obelisk. So that's really not that bad. I was like certain we weren't going to complete this. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? It's either snowing up there or there's an obelisk. Oh, it's an obelisk. I'm going to loot up this room a bit and see if we can get anything worth keeping. Like these gilded chests over here. Ooh, with a new jewel. Let's actually do this thing as well because we might get another blessing. Okay, well, time's getting pretty low, so let's go ahead and spam this water bucket down. I did not mean to click that. Well, now we have no choice but to go ahead and try to fight them. All right, that's two down. And that's three. There's one more down there. All right, that one should just about be dead. Nice. So let's head back to the base and see what kind of loot we got. 9,000 experience isn't too bad. We mined a couple of coin piles, 36, along with some ornate boys, a couple of wooden, and then some gilded. So these jewels that we got, we got a couple mining speeds and then also a smelting. And as far as loot goes, we got one volt diamond. We did get a mystery egg and a mystery box. What did we get? Some diamonds. And you already know we're going to make this into a hostile mystery egg. What did we get? I think that's a cave spider. Yeah, so that was pretty useless. But the most important thing, we got a boss crate. So let's open this bad boy up. What? Oh, okay. We got a couple of jewels and a sword. Item quantity and then mining speed. This one seems to be very common. Roll this up and it's garbage. Hmm. I've been thinking and I feel like this is missing something. I just can't quite put my nose on it. This is about 30 minutes later and I just finally finished the build. Are you ready for the reveal? Here we go. <laughs> This is actually hilarious. Since so many of you guys said this looks like a face, we figured why not go ahead and make it for sure look like a face and add a little mustache. I'll post the comment right here that went ahead and recommended this. It's a little bushy on the bottom, but honestly, it looks pretty fine. Yeah, I'm super happy with how this came out. I actually had to build it twice because at first I built it way too high and you couldn't even see the eyes. Also, this is episode 20, so that means there's going to be a world download. So you can go look down in the description if I figured out how to do it and then y'all could be able to play on this world. We got to think of a name for this guy. I'm thinking Harry, but y'all go ahead and comment on a name that we should go ahead and call this guy by far one of the best things i've ever built in minecraft who would have thought that a mustache could have so much character oh and like i said earlier we are trying to unlock the power mod so we can actually start using our refined storage system we could go with iron generators it's a little bit cheaper but power is just so much more op and before we hop into another vault let's not forget the eyes of ender chunk these in our bag and then there's only one thing left to do recipe oh we got lucky i don't think i have any nether wart though okay thankfully we do throw these items away and finally we can craft up this crystal Okay, and before we hop in there, you gotta see the animation this shield makes when it actually points. <laughs> Literally, a scale pops out, literally. So I managed to be able to roll up one of these magnets or two of them now at this point, which is pretty good. So now we can go in there and finally have a magnet to get our items. Both spawned with pretty basic stuff. This one seems to be just a bit better, so we're going to probably end up using that one. Yeah, but for some reason, I just cannot roll these two up. And now, for the moment you've been waiting for, or not waiting for, time to run another vault with our current gear. Oh boy, it is another theme. With five pottery shards, I doubt we're going to complete this. Honestly, I really don't care if we complete it. I would love to get a couple more pogwars. Okay, look at how horrible this magnet is. The range is just terrible. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm not sure if you can actually upgrade it like you used to be able to or how you do it anyways. So if you don't, comment down below. Okay, nice. Here's some living chests. We actually need these because we need all the knowledge we can get. Mainly because power takes a couple of knowledge stars. Whoa, wither skeleton spawn in here? Okay, wither skeleton spawn. I think there's a tier 2 wolf in here. Yeah, look at it. Okay, I have a feeling we're going to get in a bind this vault. Yeah, the more I go through this vault and look at the top, I don't think we're going to complete this because we need a ton of items. Ooh, that being said though, we may get lucky with this X marks the spot room. So you already know we got to dig down and then try to block ourselves off as fast as we can. Because the last thing I need to do is die again. Oh, we got super lucky. It was the gilded chest. I mean ornate. And there's one empty jar. Yeah, so we should at least be able to get the ornate bounty done. And this is going to get us a good bit of carbon as well. Oh, we got some leggings. Nice. And we also got all the jars that we need. Okay, well, that's all of the ornate chests, and we did get over six empty jars. So that's pretty huge. All we got to go for now is the gilded chest and the wooden chest. And then also figure out what drops that black mob essence. Ooh, speaking of gilded boys. Oh, gosh, there's a piglin brute here. But he's sticking out. Oh, and it looks like he actually dropped some black mob essence, which is pretty huge. Okay, are we going to get the spider soul charms? We got one, and what is that, a key piece? And we got a second one from the very next chest. That's insane. Oh, my gosh, we got a flawless jewel with 3.5% item rarity. That is huge. Also, every one of those gilded chests actually had a spider soul charm, so that's pretty huge. So now we just need three pottery shards and then a couple black mob essence. Oh, my gosh, look at all these boys. 
We don't need anything from these guys, but I want to go ahead and loot them anyways. Well, we do kind of need the carbon. Another pigment brute, so we might get that next block. Uh, I kind of had a word part there, and I meant to say black mob essence. That would typically be edited out, but I might as well show it to you guys. Getting a ton of dreamstone, though, which is absolutely insane. And I know I shouldn't, but I have been kind of skipping. So I know I shouldn't, but I've been kind of skipping the ore POIs because I want to try to complete this bounty and then start going for ores. Let's go ahead and turn in what we do have. That way it frees up a couple inventory slots. I want to go for that so bad. But the bounty's more important because we may get a trinket from it. Okay, we're going to go for this one, though, because I saw a pog gym right away. Have I mentioned how much I love this pickaxe? That was very rude. Oh, we got a sword from an Omega Ornate chest. Okay, hopefully he dropped us that last block black mob vest that we need he didn't we're one pottery shard away from being able to complete this bounty okay we have enough time for one more room so hopefully we can find that last pottery shard and also that last black mob essence is he gonna drop it no okay guys we actually found all five pottery shards and i did find that last black mob essence so let's turn this in and then head back to the base to see what kind of loot we got that was extremely loud oh wow ten thousand experience 108 chests 63 were wooden and 30 ornate boys that's insane but let's claim this up and then we also finished this bounty. We had to find 27 volt tests, so let's grab that as well. And as far as loot goes, we got 7 volt diamonds and 1 mystery box. Roll that up. Diamonds. So let's go to open up these crates. That's the bounty one. And then here's a scavenger crate. What are we going to get? A lot of gear by the looks of it. Another mystery box. And then a couple pieces of gear. So let's roll these up and hope we get an omega. No omega, but we did get a new one. This is pretty decent with 7 armor. That sword is not too bad. And those... Those pants are pretty good as well. What are we going to get from there? I think that's an Enderman. Yeah. But that's going to probably do it for today's episode, guys. We got to add a couple comments to the wall. And you might be asking yourself why I'm on the mustache. And that is because our first comment is actually from Mustache1767. Hey, next time, maybe when you do a vote after dying, maybe put a soul flame on the curse before going in for round two. I honestly always forget about soul flames. I should probably start running them because I die way too often. And actually, a few people commented that, but that's just the one that stuck out to me because of the mustache build. And then next up, this one's going to be just a bit longer. It's from Jack Chan. They said something super thoughtful. They said, I'm cheering for you to succeed, Seiji. Yes, the quality is definitely improving drastically fast. I know one of your goals is to plan on SP with CWG and them guys, but it would be amazing to see you on your own SP with other people. Vault Hunters is definitely multiplayer friendly. Instead of opening a server for your subs and etc., server for your own SP. And we actually did have an SP. It's over there on episode two. I really didn't get too much time onto it because I kind of prioritized single player. And it was definitely fun whenever I did get a chance to play on there. And the entire community that was there was absolutely amazing. But I kind of drifted off and it's, it's honestly my fault. I didn't put as much time into that server as I should have. But with my create series that I have that's occasionally posted once every week or so, it's the same guys and we're just playing with a different mod pack. So be sure to check out the create series if you haven't. I really, really do appreciate your comment, Jack. And I definitely understand where you came from with that as well. I think one of the main reasons I want to play on the same server with Fuzzy Cubs, GWG, and Code is because it's honestly an amazing community as well and i basically watch everybody that plays on it anyways so i think it'd be super cool if eventually one day i did get to play alongside them and continue to make amazing content for you guys and just a little bit more amped up like i said they have a great community as well and it would just be super cool to give y'all guys some more content with a couple different people involved also join the resistance and for some odd reason if you haven't found all the members on that server be sure to check them out and tell them sagey sent you that would definitely mean a lot to me because i honestly watch like i said all their videos and i would love to see a comment in their comments that say sagey sent y'all but anyways i know a lot of you guys have already left so the ones that are still around thank you guys so much i hope you guys have an amazing day god bless you guys bye bye um i meant to single wave all the single wavies all the single wavies all right bye guys